I'm talking to my son about uh, racism in our society and how to be an anti-racist, I think the starting point is to really be open with our sons um, about the world that we live in and the fact that there is uh, structural racism, there's implicit bias. You know, I do all the cliches that you you would expect in you know, making sure you, you know you have a good education and a good job and dress well and speak well and all those cliches that seem to be the tools to to survive. But you know that there is, you know, there is that anger as to having to do all that, and in many cases, you know, on the on the wrong day at the wrong time, those things would not matter. Of course, racism is a a huge issue for any person of color or for all minority groups. Um, right now, it's important to recognize that uh, anti-blackness is is the specific thing that, that we as a society uh, have to deal with. We can do a better job of being more anti-racist and not just saying I am not racist is not good enough to really working toward anti-racism and dismantling the structural um, um, barriers that exist for a lot of people. A society that we pride ourselves on, this land of the free and home of the brave, is a society that was built on discrimination and racism. The society that uh, propped up uh, white boys like my own son and try to tries to push down uh, black boys and we need to teach our own sons I need to teach my own son it's on me uh, to teach him that that's not okay so I come from a mixed background um, but we realized that we needed to enforce the idea of white privilege in our children and realize that that yes, we want to celebrate that diversity, we want to celebrate everyone's uniqueness and know that everyone's experiences are different, but know that because my, my, my boys, their skin color is white, that they're going to be afforded different opportunities than people of color. There are all sorts of factors that are playing in to reinforce some of the privilege and injustices that exist. Um, and when you're a white male, and you benefit from those, it, for a lot of people, it's very difficult to give that up. You know, most people don't want to give up power. And so um, we've made sure that our kids understand that dynamic and that, you know, that from at least our perspective, working against that is some of the highest meaning that you can get. There is no way that we're ever going to get it right in this immediate time. But what we're trying to do is say, we're never gonna get it right. I'll never be in your, I'll never be in your skin, but I wanna know how, and I wanna be active, and I wanna be marching, and I wanna be talking. I don't remember having been sat down by my parents, talked to about racism, but it's different now with my child. Hopefully some of the situations that are happening right now you know, keep fingers crossed will be less prevalent when he matures, uh, but we, we are definitely going to do our best to equip him with all the tools uh, to be able to navigate in this uh, uh, crazy world that we live in. We don't just protest for ourselves. Uh, there are plenty of things that I am scared about and plenty of things that I am fearful of. As a Jew in this country, the rise in hatred and bigotry and anti-Semitism, but I can't just be marching against anti-Semitism. It's teaching my son that protesting means we protest against all forms of hatred and bigotry. And if there is a concern that my neighbor has, my goal is to stand with them.